welcome to vlogmas number nine so you know how i've been wearing kind of like crazy outfits on my vlogmas and some ugly christmas shirts well and sweaters and things and so i thought i wanted to be kind of neutral today and i heard that animal print is like the new neutral right so here i am looking neutral not standing out in a crowd not wearing an ugly christmas sweater dress underneath just nice and neutral yeah not, not quite so neutral, right, when you put it all together. But anyway, just a, a fun look to go out the door today. And I did have my ugly sweater dress underneath. And so I just wanted to kind of dress the park the whole way to work today. So I got this furry little pretend faux, faux fur animal print. I got my scarf here that I got from Mix and Match. I really miss them. This little pretend leopard coat, faux leopard coat that I got from Mix and Match as well. This I actually got two of them because I got one um, in a large and then after I lost weight and it was on when they were going out of business but I thought I was helping them move their inventory and save money. They had it on sale for like 70% off so I got a smaller one. And this is my ugly Christmas dress that I wore today. This isn't really actually my last year's dress but it's just a lot of fun. I've got my faux leggings on. I got my Sam Edelman little kitten heel booties underneath. The leggings have this little leopard stripe on the side or cheetah print. I had bells on and it was just a lot of fun. And that's, to me, that's what the holidays are for. You can't always, and especially this year, it's just so crazy. We can't be with the ones we love. And so just try to have fun with what you have. And even if it's just going to work, just make the most of it. Have a blast, you know? Next year is going to be better, right? Famous last words. Alrighty, so let's get into Vlogmas number nine. Hi everyone, happy Vlogmas number nine. Just a couple of days to go. It's Monday, um, only three days of work this week for me anyway. Um, probably a lot of people have it off. So cheers everybody. I hope your last minute shopping is fun and not hassled. Or if you've ordered packages, I hope everything arrives on time and and if it doesn't, you know, just don't stress about it. Take a deep breath and let it go. Have a cup of coffee and relax. Tomorrow's another day, right? So I've already took out my coffee here. Probably should have put it a little bit closer to me. This little, poor little thing. I cannot believe I destroyed this. So anyway, I already took out my coffee of the day and I forgot to leave. I left it in the carriage, but it's peppermint mocha again. So that is really a good one. And I never thought I would like peppermint mocha, but you know, I do. So stranger things have happened. But yeah, yeah, this poor little thing. I've already taken out my Lindor, my lint truffle. And I got this gold one, so I know that's like the white chocolate one. That one's my favorite. I've got my animal print wine glass for my wine later. I was hot. I had my hat on. I had to take it off. I was like, <sighs> I came in because I usually put my heat down to 63 before I go to work. And I came home and I put it up to 68 uh, just to try to get the chill out. And I was just like sitting here dying. I got the heat down to 60 now and it's like, why did I even turn it up? Oh my God, this coffee is so good. I could just sit here and drink coffee all night. But I'm sure we, you don't have a too long coffee chit chat with me. So anyway, let's get into the vlogmas. So we'll start with our Scentsy calendar, right? So we're on number nine. Number nine is right here. And I got another Scentsy wax sample bar. I don't know if I've ever smelled this one. And I'm gonna try to show it to you, but I, I know it's not gonna focus. It is just fur, F-I-R-U. So let's check this out. So anyway, I hope your Monday flew by without any hassles. I was I was doing so good at work today. And the next thing I knew, uh, no one's around me. I look at my watch and it's 7 o'clock. It's like, where did the time go? So another 11-hour day. This is, this is different. So I smell like blackberry, but um, like pine, like a real Christmas tree, and like a balsam wreath, kind of like all mixed together. So pine, balsam, and blackberry. You know, sometimes I am so wrong, I scare myself, but that's what this one reminds me of. And I just changed up my wax when I came home today. I put in very, very snowy spruce 
and I forgot what else, and blood blood orange spice or something like that. So this house already, it's, it's really smelling Christmassy. But when that's done, maybe I'll take this one into work tomorrow, put that in my desk. All right, so looking forward to doing that. And wine number nine. Like I said, the secret, oh, you can't see because I got it down too low, but let's see if I can get it up because I saw somebody's tip that said open the thing all the way over and then you can put your fingers in there and it works. So we've got another red wine blend. This is from France and it's called Suri or Suré. It's a nice deep red wine and I lost my handy dandy opener someplace between here, the kitchen, the car and work because I take it to work because sometimes I can't open my protein shake after it goes in the blender. No idea where it is, so I'm kind of stuck here. All right, we're going to do this over here. And I just want to have a little bit because I'm going to go back to drinking my coffee. I just want to sample this. And my little wine glass here. And uh, yeah, so let's take a quick sip. It's good. It's another dry wine, but it's good. Yeah, not bad. Alrighty, so what does it say about this wine blend? So it says a Suri red or Suri, Suri, I don't know. Que sera, sera, whatever will be, will be. So celebrate the great French versus U.S. wine debate curled up for a movie night viewing of Bottle Shock with a glass of our Suri French Red Blend. The movie will transport you back into the 1970s when Napa Valley wines first dared to compete with those of France's best vineyards. Kind of sounds like a mystery. Alrighty. Asseri is made in a 19th century Bordeaux style because Syrah or Syrah was used in this blend which is no longer allowed, oh no, in the modern Bordeaux style. The Syrah gives the wine a beautiful deeper tone. Expect a more medium bodied approachable Cabernet compared to the higher tannin East Cabern Cabernet Sauron Cabernet we tasted on day three. I'm lost on that one. So it says, of course, let it open 10 to 15 minutes uh, for maximum enjoyment. But, you know, I'm okay with just a little bit of enjoyment. So this is from 2017 uh, from France. It's dark cherry, black currant, raspberry, milk chocolate, and spice. Uh, sweetness is medium to low. Acidity is medium. Tannins medium to high. Body and alcohol is medium. Uh, it says it pairs with cocoa bean. Steak bites, hide beds, and warm socks. The stories behind the wine. It says Suri comes from the Languedoc Roussillon region of France. Good thing um, no one's listening to me. That's really a critic. Uh, and, and if you are, I'm sorry. With grapevines are said to have existed before humans even arrived in the area. An important French winemaking region for centuries now. It's estimated that one out of every 10 bottles of wine in the world were produced in that area during the 20th century. The rich Medi Mediterranean climate and local passion for winemaking excellence makes it easy to see why the wines of the languedoc Roussillon region have earned a reputation as some of the best in the world. So anyway, that is Vlogmas number nine. We've only got a couple of days left. And, um, you know, it's Face Mask Monday, but I think I'm going to have to pass on that. I'm just so far behind in filming and getting things up. So it's, I'm going to do my face mask, but I'm probably just not going to record it. I'm going to um, try to end my vlog. Um, I want to do uh, my Sensi Whip box because that's been sitting there. And if there was anything in it that somebody wanted to get, um, there's only a few days before you can get that December Whip box. So I have to get that done. Um, and then once I film that, I think I'm going to go put my face mask on, uh, go back on the couch and try to start editing and uh, try to get these lo uploaded and then um, watch some more videos and start trying to comment on a few and try to get caught up. So anyway, that's my plan. Hoping to stick to it. 
I hope everyone goes out tomorrow and has a fantastic day, and we will chat again tomorrow night. Bye-bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.